Hi folks, this is Max from GalaxyTabHex.com um, So I've got a quick overview of the uh, CM10.1 ROM um, This one is pretty cool. It's available for the Verizon uh, Tab 10.1 um, Also Timo Tab, uh, Timo, T-Mobile Tab 10.1 What I have is the Wi-Fi uh, Tab 10.1 and also, um, it's available for the uh, the 3G um, CM 10.1. Actually, one of you, a lot of you are actually running this. Many of you guys have told me this is great. Um, actually, it's pretty great. Uh, there is some random flickers once in a while, but it's not too annoying. That's it's only when you're going through the UI. But as you can see, it looks uh, runs pretty well here. I've got a bunch of widgets. Um, just one widget, Gmail widget there. And uh, let's go to settings here real quick. And uh, for some reason, the settings is going sideways now. Um, eh. About tablet, uh, you'll see that it's Android 4.2.1. Um, does not have any kind of. Uh, um, oh, you know what? I know what I did. I uh, took the auto rotate off. Did I do it? Now, well, let me just show you the other parts of it. Oh, now I turn it off. Um, there we go. So, see that random flicker? That's not too annoying. As for settings, there's no performance settings on this one. Um, this is an experimental build, but it's gonna be this is pretty much gonna be official pretty soon. Uh, it's gonna be pretty official. And uh, I installed set CPU to um, get overclocking. I recommend you do also do the same thing. Um, set it on interactive, set on boot. Um, speed is not too bad, it's just a slight laggy, but you know, um, that's just gonna be from the, um, the, uh, the limits of this hardware. Also does come with a camera, uh, Android 4.2 camera. Now there's a lot more delay than before, I don't know why. Uh, let's take a photo of my photo, <laughs> me on the golf course. Yay. Um, so camera works quite well. And uh, there's no photosphere. I've got all these buttons um, all customized. Uh, you can do that in settings. Uh, for some reason, my thing is. Let me see if I can fix it. Hold on. Well, I I I think I hit something, and my my settings is now sideways. Um, so I won't be able to show you all of this stuff I did. Uh, but I did uh, change out in settings. You can change out uh, all of these buttons. Um, so I put the back button on the right side, it's just kind of like a phone, uh, and I put my home button on the left, that way I'm, you know, when I'm browsing with my left or right, I can just kind of, um, make it easier for myself. And I also put the menu button on the left here, um, to show it all the time. And also I've got Nova Launcher installed here. Um, install Nova Launcher, if you're going to use this in horizontal, uh, position, I do recommend 6x14. That seems to be the optimal, so you can put a lot of apps, a lot of widgets. Um, so, and also it does come with DSP Manager. And uh, Netflix is working just fine. Everything's just working fine. Um, also, there is a note for installation. Um, if you're on Verizon, make sure you have um, ICS modem. And also, if you have uh, the Wi-Fi Tap 10.1, um, make sure if you if you don't have a US tap 10.1 make sure you install the US ICS bootloader um, It's a tar.md5. You have to flash with uh, Odin pretty simple to do. I'll have the files uh, Make sure you do that. Otherwise you might get a uh, rolling screen and also um, for 3g tap 10.1 the p4 uh, Make sure you install the UK ICS bootloader. Otherwise you'll get also you may get rolling screen um, and also P3 and P4 make sure you're on ICS modem um, so that out of the way go ahead and install it pretty easy to install uh, just go reboot into recovery um, even if you're coming from 4.1.2 like I was make sure you do a data wipe factory reset that's what I recommend um, that's what I did I kind of started over here and uh, looking pretty good not too bad you know you can experience the latest 4.1.4.2.1 uh, and let me show you my lock screen real quick 
and uh, you get a bunch of widgets with 4.2.1 obviously um, you can add more widgets which is really cool eh, see that random flicker not not too big of a deal um, so that's my lock screen and uh, there we go and also this one comes with multi-user if you go to settings there's a uh, users settings now I can um, give my tap 10.1 to my my daughter and she can kind of you know go off with it install all her uh, favorite games and stuff and stay away from my <laughs> tap 10.1 uh, which quite often happens actually and also you can get up to eight shortcuts um, you can all do that all in settings it's all CM settings so I've got my favorite stuff here I'm um, go straight to my Gmail um, so looking pretty good so check it out for your tap 10.1 uh, available for many many variants. Um, make sure you do install those bootloaders um, if it required. But for the Wi-Fi version, I have the US version. I didn't install anything. I just installed it and it worked just fine. So check it out. Um, love it. This is uh, pretty nice. And uh, let me know what you think for your Tab 10.1. And uh, if you have a Tab 10.1, uh, as always, don't forget to sign up for my email list at uh, galaxytabhacks.com. We update you once a week. Actually, more like once a month uh, with Romulan Week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here. Subscribe button also down there. And I'll see you guys later. Stay high on Android. Yeah. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Um, this does have a bug with the keyboard. So if you have any problems with the keyboard, just download um, Go Keyboard from the Play Store. Uh, works just as fine. Actually, I, I, I love Go Keyboard. Go ahead and search for Go Keyboard and uh, you shouldn't have to worry about it. Um, Go Keyboard. If you have any problems with it, go download Go Keyboard and uh, um, you should be all good to go. Anyway, see y'all later.